Since 1991, the After School Arts Outreach Program has provided meaningful out-of-school experiences through its creative youth development programs for at-risk youth in the underserved communities in our area. The program culminates with the annual AEO Student Exhibition with future works of art created by children and teens in collaboration with the museum's teaching artists. This year, it's all about process. And the exhibition title is Leading the Way, Abriendo Caminos. It will be displayed in the Chris and Bernard Martin Community Gallery here at the Norton. Each year, we engage with over 700 participants ranging from ages 5 to 18. These weekly art experiences are informed by the unique and creative practices from the group of teaching artists who facilitate them. The After School Arts Outreach Program provided by the Norton Museum has been nothing short of phenomenal. I've been able to just witness these children have creativity be sparked. It's amazing to watch these kids be amazed and in awe about what it is that they can create. This specific project uh, inspired me actually to make sure the students learn the process from two-dimensional to three-dimensional forms of art. She likes to make everything fun and creative when we do stuff and she just likes to make stuff in a different and fun type of way. They finally were able to make 48 pieces that are now part of a large scale installation in collaboration with the teacher. It's not just arts that you guys are bringing here, it's more so of a different type of experience. But you are showing these children different types of avenues when it comes down to their mental, when it comes down to more, say, their imagination. You can put that on paper now and express yourselves differently. So it has been a, an amazing program. I've been with Mr. Jose since I've been here and his empathy and sympathy when it comes down to the children is different. I like working with Mr. Jose in our room because I know I learned how to do art and I get like better and better each day. We toured the museum, got to look at three different artworks and what we narrowed it down to was us creating our own hand sculptures. When I finished my hand sculpture, it felt amazing. I like that the planet it was just like tilted a little bit and it wasn't like just like straight. To see this final work of art created by Carter was amazing. Carter started off, he did not want to do art. Now Carter is, is an example of what it means and what it feels like to go through a program, now start building 3D sculptures and being able to see it and witness it inside a museum. Once Norton has came in, it's made quite a difference in a positive way. Now I'm able to see, you know, our members smile, really have a sense of belongings. For this year's themes and objectives was to connect our participants to feel inspired, learn about the process while producing a work of art, and finding joy in their creations. And she taught us how to make action figures with the little dots. They're more eager to participate. I mean, just seeing their creations and what they're able to come up with, you guys have really made a change, not just for you know the staff here, for myself, but ultimately for our children. We use a printing technique of marbling, which involves floating inks on water trays. They enjoyed so much finding unexpected results during the process. I admire that someone puts their time and energy into others, especially kids. Every week, I feel like I'm in a new adventure. As you may know, a lot of our students come from different areas and some of those are disadvantaged or marginalized communities. So with, with the Norton and the exposure that the children get from the Norton in the after school outreach program has been a great impact. One of the current projects that we're working on is a tapestry. Um, they're using weaving. Con Miseli me gusta lo que es hacer los telares porque en mi país no existe eso. Y cuando vine acá yo me emocioné cuando miré eso. La primera clase fue bien emocionante porque al comentarles a ellas qué íbamos a hacer, qué era el proyecto, dónde iban a estar en su exhibición, ellas se emocionaron. The After School Art Outreach Program had been amazing. Our students have learned so many things. I see them improving in many ways because this is practically something that they enjoy so much. They develop their social skills, their creativity. I'm so happy to see their talent. It's, it's something that blown all, all of us away. We had these newspapers that was a cut. We had to glue them on the balloon. 
the party is going to be in the museum. I feel like happy because I can show my work. Mr. Jose brings a different dynamic, just the culture experience alone this program has provided because we can't do it. We're recreation professionals. And to see those expressions and those artistic creations being displayed in the Northern Art Museum is it's just a bonus for us because our kids love it. They love to see their work on display. It's almost like displaying the art on the refrigerator here. <laughs> our kids really enjoy the program. What sustains these partnerships is the mutual love and commitment to the arts. We can only hope that these students are inspired by what they saw to be able to bring that into the world and hopefully uh, make a change. El Norto, me puedo decir con certeza que fue la primera institución que nos abrió las puertas y desde siempre nos ha brindado apoyo en lo que hemos necesitado. Who knows, maybe one of these children here will become an artist and their work will be displayed and all of that started here at the Florence D. George and so I'm so grateful. Art to me is, is extremely important for the growth of their potential in, as a human being. When you sit down with a child and you show them the interest that you have in them and you show them that, hey, look, I can bring that power that's in you, I can bring it out and allow you to express it on paper or on an iPad. It changes the whole perspective and dynamic of how that child feels about themselves. The After School Art Outreach Program has allowed us to just continue to build on the skills of the children and enhance their confidence and self-esteem through the project. The After School Arts Program has been a wonderful asset to our curriculum here at the Salvation Army. I don't know what we would do without it. Seeing one of our members create something that she loved something that she can connect with, something that she can take home and really feel important, not just here at the Max Boys and Girls Club, but really in her community and how she's able to shine. And now that particular member, she wants a future, she wants a career in being an artist herself. And that's because of that after school art teacher. And it's really because of the support of the Norton Museum. You really can't put into word the feelings that the kids have when they have the opportunity because of the Norton Art Museum. We would like to say thank you to all the site directors, coordinators, teachers, assistants, because without you guys, we would make uh, AAO possible. We're so grateful to our community partners to have given us so much trust to be able to bring the art into the community. At the end, what it's all about is to make lifelong museum goers and lovers and instill the love in the arts in the community.